I've received a flurry of questions asking me why I sign off each of my educational videos, blog posts, and other content with the three words, learn, grow, contribute. The direct answer is that I say those words at the end of everything I share with you for my benefit as well as yours. Human beings are flawed. We all know that. Our ego and misplaced pride get in the way of great decision making and great leadership. Our ego isn't a bad thing. We need it, need it to survive. And pride in our work and family and teams is all good. What is bad is it's sometimes too much ego, too much pride clouds our judgment impairs our ability to hear what others are saying, and prevents us from making good choices. I'm as human as you and as flawed as anyone, so I use those three words as a way to make me do a reality check. So let's take them one at a time. Learn. I remember when I was a kid, each day at the dinner table, my dad would ask me what I had learned that day. I have to tell you, the answer nothing was not acceptable, and I am so glad he didn't let me get away with that. What I ultimately realized is that he wasn't asking me just about what I learned in school. His question wasn't, what did you learn in school today? His question was, what did you learn today? He was asking me so that I would come to the conclusion myself, that there is truly something new to learn every single day. It may be big, it may be small, it may be about life, business, social relationships, schoolwork. It may be immediately applicable or, or used at another time. It didn't have to be earth shattering. He just wanted me to see that continuous learning mitigates and brings reality to an ego that wants to think it has all the answers. So every day, learn something new. It keeps your mind open and receptive to better solutions to the issues you're facing in your business, career, and with your family. Okay, let's take the second one, grow. The entire line is grow as a human being. You may have dreams for your life that are unrealized, do you have a business you want to start, a relationship you want to mend? Are you distracted by people around you who don't have your drive and it's pulling you away from your dreams? The word grow is a reflection of all that and much more. For me, grow is a reminder that I must apply what I am learning about life, business, being a good dad, a good husband, because if I don't, I'm not growing as a human being. It's a reminder to me that today, I have to take action to be a better person, a better teacher, a better coach and consultant. I want the word grow to be a reminder to you that you can be better tomorrow than you are today. You can achieve your dreams and that ultimately you are responsible for learning, applying what you learn and taking the needed action to achieve your dreams and grow as a human being. The third one, contribute. Well, we end where we started talking about ego and pride. The most humbling act you can do is to contribute a part of yourself a part of what you have learned, a part of your growth to someone else and ask nothing in return, not money, not recognition. The amazing thing about contributing a part of yourself to someone else as you embark on your journey in life, business, school, whatever, is that the rinse and repeat cycle is enhanced. All of a sudden you realize that upon contributing, you learn so, so much more. You grow more as a human being, grow more towards your dreams and goals, and want to contribute even more to others. So every day, no matter where you are in your life's journey, or in your business, or in your dreams and desires, learn something new, grow as a human being, and contribute something back to someone else. This is John Vettery.